Hi, today we're going to read the amazing Life Cycle of Plants Look and Wonder Book. It's written by Kay Barnum and illustrated by Maddie Frost. Thanks Scholastic for printing this book. Allie's here and she's gonna help me read it. The Amazing Life Cycle of Plants. Look around you. How many plants and flowers and trees and grasses can you see? These natural beauties grow over and over again. But how do they do it? Get ready to dig deep and find out more about the amazing life cycle of a plant. A seed is a baby plant. It's wrapped in a shell to keep it safe until it's time to grow. There are lots of different types of seeds. Avocado stones, apple seeds, and acorns are all seeds. For a seed to grow, everything must be just right. There must be enough water, heat, and light, as well as the right type of soil. When the seed cracks open, roots grow down and, sh and shoot. When the seed cracks open, roots grow down and a shoot grows up. This sunflower seed has turned into a seedling. You see the roots growing down? And this part coming up, it shoots through the, the ground, so it's called a shoot or a baby plant. The shoot grows taller and thicker. Soon it becomes the plant's stem. The stem is strong enough to support the plant as it grows bigger and more leaves appear. It also carries water and food from the roots. These will help the plants grow. The plant's leaves are very important. They take in a gas called carbon dioxide. When this gas mixes with water and sunlight, it makes a sugary food for the plant. Now the plant has energy to grow. The leaves give out another gas called oxygen. Humans need oxygen to survive. So when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide and that plant <laughs> breathes in carbon dioxide. And when the plant blows out, the plant blows out oxygen that we breathe in. What a great partner, right? Once the plant is fully grown, flowers appear. First, there is a bud. Slowly, this opens to show the petals. Flowers are bright and bold. They have a strong smell. This makes it easy for bees, butterflies, and other creatures to find them. Deep inside the flower, there is a sweet liquid called nectar. Bees use this to make honey. Insects drink it to give them energy. As they hunt for nectar, creatures carry pollen from flower to flower. Pollen also floats through the air in the wild. It is because of pollen that flowers make seeds. It is important that seeds do not fall straight down. If they land in the plant's shade, the seed will not grow. Instead, the plant scatters its seeds far and wide. When seeds travel to many different places, more of them might grow into new plants. Seeds scatter in different ways. The wind might blow them away. Seeds might float on the tide. Sometimes, sometimes seed pods burst and they fire their seeds outward. Animals scatter seeds too. When they eat fruit, the seeds hidden inside travel through the animals and out the other end. Did you know that some trees and plants need fire to survive? This giant redwood tree does not release <coughs> seeds until there is a fire. The heat then makes the pine cones open. Ash from the fire makes the soil the perfect place for a new tree to grow. Plants such as ferns, mosses, and algaes do not grow seeds. They grow tiny round spores instead. The wild blows spores away from the plant. Some land in damp places, and if other spores land nearby, a brand new plant may start to grow. Hmm. A plant's life cycle is the time it takes to grow from seed to flower, scatter seeds, and die. The life cycle of some plants take just weeks. Others might live for a year. 
the life cycle of the Madagascar palm tree is as long as 100 years. The life cycle of plants are very important to farmers and gardeners. Farmers need to know when to sow crops and when they will be ready to harvest. Gardeners need to know what to plant so that their gardens are colorful all year. Hmm. Here's some things to do. Grow your own sunflower. Plant the sunflower seed in soil, need soil, and remember to water it. It also needs sunlight, so put it in the sunlight. Then watch how tall it grows. Here's another thing you can try. Collect as many different seeds as you can and stick them onto a wall chart. Remember to label each one. Or number three, make a colorful word cloud. Start with plant, then add any new words that this word makes you think of. Write them all down using different colored pens. Start like this. That is the amazing life cycle of a plant. Remember, when things are in a cycle, they go in a circle. So it starts at one place with a seed and it goes all the way around back again until it hits the seed again. That's a life cycle. Thanks for reading with me today, Allie. That book was so cool. Bye. Bye.